Hello. In this video, we're going to be covering how to create a video conference for your students using Google Meet. Now, this video is being created on April 7th, 2020, and the reason why I'm telling you that is uh, because Google Meet has been declared an acceptable way uh, for classroom conferences to happen by the New York City Department of Ed. Uh, after they have made outlawed other tools. So it is important to know that Google Meet is going, the way that we're going to show you here is approved by the New York City Department of Education. So to get started, uh, I actually have a Google Classroom set up here. And in this video, I'm gonna assume that you already know how to make a Google Classroom or how to use some basic tools within Google, uh, G Suite, such as Docs and uh, Sheets and stuff like that. So we're gonna go right into Google Meets. Uh, so I'm here at classroom.google.com and to get started I'm going to click on this little what's called a waffle up in the top right hand corner but it looks like nine dots. When I click on that I can see all the different tools I have access to in G Suites. Uh, and what we're interested in here is the Meet tool. Uh, now you might see a Hangout tool. I actually don't have one here. Uh, but there's actually two different tools that Google has. There's uh, Meet and Hangouts. We don't want to use Hangouts. Meet has been approved by uh, the NYC DOE. Hangout has not. Luckily, I don't even see Hangout here. So um, I'm just going to go straight to Meet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, uh, a conference that my students can join safely. Uh, and so now that I'm in meet.google.com, I'm going to join a, or start a meeting, this button here. I'm going to call this one test conference call and click continue and you'll see my face in just a moment. It's good to note at this point that I am logged into my at schools account. Um, you will want to create any Google meet that you're using, using your um, account. Uh, I just have to allow, uh, my browser or Google Chrome to use my microphone and my camera here. So I'm just going to click allow. There we go. There I am. Uh, and I'm going to click join now. So right before I get started here, um, my, my face is being hidden by this pop-up window and this pop-up window is going to be extremely useful for you. Uh, so you can add students in by just clicking add people at the bottom, but the way you're probably going to want to do it is using these URLs and dial in numbers here. So if I, when I'm, I'm gonna start here by uh, highlighting this URL, and I'm gonna add this into my, um, my Google Classroom that I already have set up. So if I go back into my Google Classroom tab here, I, I could add that URL here to the stream. I can say, please, oops, please join this video at, let's say 10 a.m. on Wednesday. And I can add, using this little button down here, add a link. And I'm gonna paste that link that I add from before. Copy, so add the link here. Uh, so any student using a, you know, a tablet, a phone, or a computer can use this link here to join the Google Meet conference call. Uh, but I also wanna show you a good feature that allows uh, for more flexibility if students don't have access to those things. And that's this dial-in code here. So if I copy this dial-in code and I paste it right into this thing on the stream here, uh, what this does is this is a number that students can call from any phone, even if it's not a smartphone. Uh, they just dial this number here. Once they get there, a, uh, a robot will ask uh, the, for the PIN for this meeting. They'll type in this PIN and then they can actually even join uh, that conference call, obviously they won't have video, but they will be able to hear everything that's going on and be able to speak in the call as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this uh, right to the stream. And now any student in my class can click on this, uh, this, this little icon here for the, uh, the meeting and join the call. So that's how students get into the call. And that's how you, the teacher, start the call but I do want to show you some of the features that have made Google Meets an approved uh, style of communication for NYC DOE. Now, as of uh, late March, 
Google added some features here that are going to be very useful for you. One of them is uh, that you are able to mute your students um, when they enter the call. They can't mute you, but you can mute them. And that is a, a feature that if they're um, that is specific to you as a, a teacher of NYC DOE. So when a student joins in, you'll start to see their faces uh, be added on the right side here. And you can actually just click right on them and they'll have a little, little icon like this, like a microphone, and you can click on it to mute them, but they won't have the ability to do that to you. Another feature that's really important is that students um, can join this meeting uh, when you are in it. And because you are a teacher and you have a, a, a at schools email account, you can create your, um, your own uh, Google Meet. But once you leave and at, one, once the call is over, a security issue that was occurring with some other platforms uh, was allowing students to stay in that uh, conference call with the teacher gone or even logging into that conference call at a later time with no teacher in there and they weren't supervised. Uh, so the latest update with Google Meet fixes that. And the way it fixes that is that um, you are going to need to stay in the call until all your students exit. So let's say I, I had a call with my whole class. There's 30 students in here. Uh, you know, it's 11 o'clock and I say, okay guys, it's, uh, the, the call is over. I'm going to need you all to leave. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for every student to leave the room. If some students aren't leaving when I ask them to, I got to wait there and ask them to leave. Then when I am the last person in the window or in, in the conference call, you just X out of it using this, uh, the top tab up here. And that call is now over. You as the teacher can actually go back to this link anytime and reopen it, but your students will not be able to. So if you create a, uh, a Google Meet, you can open it up back, uh, open it up back anytime, but students cannot. And if a student tries to, what will happen is it will ask for, it will ask for your um, approval to enter the call. So they won't be able to enter until you approve it. That is an important security feature that allows Google Meet to be a approved form of communication with NYC DOE. So this video has covered how to create a Google Meet conference call for your classroom.